Ron Hinkle, a Buckhannon resident, is doing what he is passionate about. The first step is always gathering the glass out of the furnace. And, and gathering glass is, is so much like dipping honey up out of a bowl. You actually use the same movements. You, uh, you have a, a rod, or you might say it's like a honey stick, and, and uh, this, this gathering rod that you have is uh, about five foot long, and you dip it into the molten glass, and you turn the pipe, the gathering rod, and you scoop and turn the rod at the same time. And then comes that all important puff of air. If you've ever watched glass being made, uh, the simple fact that you're dealing with a stretchy, gooey liquid that's 2,000 degrees on the end of the pipe catches people's attention very quickly. But when you can share that with people who've never seen it before, whether they're 95 or 100 years old, or, or if they're a child, uh, even children are very mesmerized. And to be able to explain the nature of glass, be explaining what you do with glass, it's, it's a memorable experience. I can't tell you how many people I've had to come into the studio and say, oh, oh, I remember when I was like six years old and my grandpa took me to the factory and we, we watched the glass being made and I'm so excited to be here today. And then when you see them leave your studio with that great big smile and, and that bubbly feeling and, and they're just so excited, you know that you've left them with a piece of you. How do I operate and how do I keep going in this, this crazy economy with such a challenging uh, business? Uh, first of all, I say challenging because the overhead here in, in this small glass blank business is sometimes astronomical. Um, the gas bill alone can run, you know, a $1,000 a week, so, ooh, you know. But uh, I've taken a, an approach to uh, making the business work by uh, being constantly vigilant of sales, constantly vigilant of demand, constantly vigilant of uh, what the customer wants and the design. Uh, myself and, and Heidi and Richard, we were frequently talking about business strategies as we work. creation process is taking place while we're developing these strategies. If someone calls and says, I want uh, 35 glass skulls, I can automatically say, you know what, I don't think this is something that I would do very well. Tell them immediately that, that we can't do that. Or they might say, well, we need so many bowls. Uh, can you do that in a certain color? And immediately I can say, yes, we can do that. Glass is simply a very magical material to work with. If you think about it, there's, there's no other uh, substance on earth that has the appeal that glass does. It has color, it has texture, it has transparency, it has the uh, ability to suspend things inside of it, like a paperweight. You, you can look at a paperweight and you see what appears to be a flower growing on the inside of it. So you've actually suspended something there and it's like, oh, it's, it's there for eternity. It's not going to change, you know. And uh, so all these factors going on make glass a, a truly uh, magical substance to work with, especially for an artist. I would like to think of my glass making uh, venture here as an adventure in my life. It's been one of the greatest adventures that I could have ever imagined. He is an accomplished glass artist who embodies all glass history and artistry. <laughs>